It all started 11 months ago when 25-year-old aircraft engineer Williamson Jr. Way started taking shots of a Viper's training and realized photography was something he wanted to continue doing. There's a lot of photography pages out there, but there's no sports photography page. From there, I was walking in and the word Pillai Pixar popped up on, on my mind. Then I came back home, created a new page, which I named Pillai Pixar. The symbol led then opened a Facebook account and named it Pillai Pixar. His work was centered around rugby league, a sport he loved. He captured players in action and shared his work with Pillai Pixar followers. I'm thinking of doing, changing my hobby into a business and then also pursuing my career as an aircraft maintenance engineer as well. So it's all about the love of photography that I have in me and it's not all about the, I don't, I don't usually get uh, paid for that or I just, sometimes I argue with the security guards just to give me access to the field and all that. As Williamson posted more and more pictures on Pillai Pixar, he had more and more rugby league enthusiasts liking his work and started following the page. From 100 followers a week, Pillai Pixar gathered 10,000 in just 11 months. His photos cover individual and team shots from the Hunters, PRL, Mosby South and other rugby league competitions in Port Mosby. He plans to include other sports in his work in future. There's a lot of youths out there who are week in, week out, they are contributing, uh, they are putting their effort to play sports, but there's no exposure. So I, just, I created Pillai Pixar. I started with rugby and I'm... With so much encouragement and advice from online followers, Williamson would like to tap into the magazine business. He has been invited to do shoots for sports clubs in Port Mosby, and this has earned him some extra cash. Williamson's message to his peers is to never give up on doing something you love and always try to be better at it and turn it into something beneficial. Salome Vincent, TV1 News.